10 L Sports Central will be going over a college football game preview and prediction on one of the big ACC games going on in Week 9. And that's going to be between Boston College and Clemson. And both of these teams, of course, have had a pretty good seasons so far. Clemson, of course, is the best team in the country. Boston College has started 4-2, and two, which really is pretty good for Boston College so far. And we're going to be going over a full college football game preview and prediction on this game here in this video today, starting out with your team trends. And last week, Boston College beat Georgia Tech 48 to 27 was the final score there so all around good win for boston college however allowing 27 points to a team like georgia tech right now definitely is not uh the best thing in the world but still boston college got a win uh, by over 20 points so all around is a pretty good day and then clemson beat syracuse 47 to 21 so i mean that game was actually pretty close at one point between clemson and syracuse i think it got down to a 13 point game uh towards the end of the first half so it was a little bit scary there for clemson at one point but clemson got the win in the end pretty easily uh, with a score of 47 to 21. For winning streaks for both these teams, Boston College has got a one game winning streak and they've started off four and two. Clemson is six and zero, oh, also the top ranked team in the country right now. And they also obviously have a six game winning streak. So yeah, Clemson is on fire right now. I mean, well, Boston College honestly has had a pretty good season so far. I mean, 2019 was a pretty underwhelming year for Boston College, but yeah, this year has actually been pretty good so far. This game's gonna be on Saturday, October 31st, noon Eastern in Clemson. So uh, the Tigers will be the home team here. Spread currently says Clemson by 31. ESPN FBI has got Clemson 97%. So it's going really heavy on the Clemson side here. Vegas prediction 52-13 with Clemson getting the win. So all three of our sources expect Clemson to win in a blowout fashion type of game here um, on Saturday, which honestly, I mean, it makes sense. Clemson is uh, obviously a much more skilled team than Boston College is, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprising if this game was actually a little bit closer than people expected. I mean, we did see a closer than expected game between Clemson and Syracuse last week. So, yeah, who knows what can happen. I'm not saying Boston College will win this game, but, I mean, a spread of Clemson by 31 is really heavy on the Tigers' side right now. Here's a second comparison for this one. Boston College has 27 points per game, 25 points allowed, 278 pass yards a game, 99 rush yards on average, then 217 uh, pass yards allowed, then 165 rush yards allowed per game. So, the passing offense for Boston College has actually been really good so far, 278 average yards per game. That is actually a pretty good stat, uh, 99 rush yards. Then for the Clemson side, you got 48 points per game and 13 points allowed per game. That is an insane ratio right there between their points per game and points allowed. I mean, that's through six games. Um, that's not like it's just through one or two games. That's six games right there. And Clemson has allowed, or yeah, only allowed 13 points per game. And on the flip side, they've gotten nearly 50. So, and that's an average as well. So it's pretty insane seeing how well Clemson has played so far, especially on the offensive side. They also have 341 average passers a game, which is incredible. Probably the best stat line in the in the uh, in all of college football right now, as far as passing yards per game goes. 176 rush yards as well. So they also have a good stat line on the rush yards. So that's pretty much. I mean, if you add that all up, that's pretty much over 510 yards. Uh, total offensive yards on average per game so far this season and that's through six games as for yards allowed they allowed 169 pass yards and 105 rush yards per game so far this season here's our previous five games so far for these teams as well boston college beat georgia tech 40 to 27 last week once again pretty good win there however the week before they lost to virginia tech 14 to 40 that was a terrible loss for boston college there they definitely need to keep it close uh, to Virginia Tech if they're going to expect to compete with Clemson, let alone. So, I mean, Virginia Tech, they did take a terrible loss last week, but all around Virginia Tech, other than Week 8, has been actually a pretty good team so far this season in the ACC. They all, and then Boston College also beat Pittsburgh 31-30 to in overtime. They also have North Carolina 22-26. to They were the 12th-ranked team in the nation at the time, so they kept that game pretty close at least. I mean, it was a four-point game, and Boston College actually had a legit chance to knock off North Carolina there. Didn't end up happening, but it was still a close game. And then they beat Texas State 24 to 21. As for Clemson, they beat Syracuse 70 or 47 to 21. And then they beat Georgia Tech 73 to 7. They also beat Miami 42 to 17. And Miami was a seventh ranked team in the nation at the time. Kind of crazy to think about there, uh, considering Miami is not near at that position now. But that was a great win for Clemson at that point in time. 42 to 17. Yeah, Miami didn't really even stay close in that game from the start. They also beat Virginia 41 to 23, and then they beat the Citadel 49 to zero. So all around, it's been a pretty good season for Clemson so far. They really have not had a single close game up until this point. Um, so that's a really good sign for Clemson moving into the future. Some key points, Clemson has had a lot of dominant wins. Once again, we just went over that. 
Um, yeah, that's that's very clear. They've had a lot of easy wins, and they've just all around been playing really well on both sides of the ball, especially offensively. I mean, Clemson's definitely, I'd say, has, or I, I'd say Clemson definitely has the best offense in the nation right now. If you're looking at Trevor Lawrence and all around, like, defensive line, everything for Clemson is just going great right now. For the Boston College side, they need to be a lot more consistent. That's something that they've had trouble with. I mean, they, they had a close game to um, Georgia Tech last week. And then, of course, if you look at back when they played um, when they played Virginia Tech and they had that blowout loss, I mean, you can't have a loss like that and expect to compete with Clemson. So that does concern me a little bit. They do need to be more consistent. But once again, they do have a couple of good wins on their schedule so far. And then Trevor Lawrence, Clemson quarterback, has been as good as he ever has. I'm sure that's pretty evident by now. I mean, like, yeah, he's definitely going to be a big Heisman contender for later on in the season based off of his stats so far. And all around, he's just had a great career with Clemson. I mean, all over the past three years, he's just been very dominant, and he's had um, – he's just been extremely consistent, which has been a huge positive for Clemson over the past couple of years. And here's my prediction in the end. I think in the end, Clemson gets the win here pretty easily. Final score is going to be 45-10. to 10. I think Boston College – I mean, they will get a field goal in the first half, but that's pretty much it, 24-3 to three at the half. And then in the final, I think Clemson just runs away with this one, 45 to 10. And I mean, I considered po possibly putting Boston College with 17 points, but I just think Clemson, they're just too good of a team right now. And honestly, uh, with the offense that they have, like they're they are pretty much out of the ACC's league right now as far as skill goes. Clemson is definitely the best team in that conference. And I think they're easily the best team in the nation right now. They're going to get a win really easily. And I mean, also considering Clemson absolutely knocked off Georgia Tech a couple of weeks ago, like I think the final score was 73 to seven or something like that. Um, I think it's going to kind of have the same trend into this matchup here against Boston College. Final score once again, 45 to 10. Clemson will get the win. But do let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. Let me know your score predictions, all of that. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. But then again, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central, and I'll see you all later.